Well, thank you. I, uh, I, I heard uh, your statements, and I think uh, everything that's been said certainly is laudable. What I'd like to hear a little more is about the details of recruiting. Could uh, both of you uh, touch on that a bit? Uh, how, uh, how do you go out and recruit specifically for the agencies, and then specifically, how do you uh, focus on diversity recruitment in detail? Either way, jump ball. Sure. Thank you, Senator, for your question. Um, through the Global Development Partnership Initiative, uh, USAID will build a responsive and resourceful and resilient workforce um, by increasing the size and diversity of our permanent uh, career workforce and providing flexibility to hire non-career direct staff. And how did you do that specifically? Did you run ads in magazines? Did you go on TV? Did you do it on, how did you do that mechanically? It's a current, it's a current program that we're running right now. And so what we're doing is through those methods, sir, and through non-traditional means as well, including outreach to minority serving institutions. Um, USID held its first HBCU uh, conference last year and uh, the first uh, Hispanic serving institution conference as well, where we had about 3,000 attendees. Where were those held? It was virtual, sir. I see. Um, so in addition to that outreach, um, it increases the awareness of uh, USCID and our, and our jobs. Um, we've also uh, developed a new recruitment video that promotes the careers in foreign and civil service, and it features USCID employees who represent the agency's diversity. Uh, what about uh, personal interviews when you're hiring someone? What does a person have to do if they, say, live in Idaho and they want to go to work at the State Department? Um, I'd, I'd have to get the details uh, exactly from our uh, HR colleagues, sir, but my understanding is that we hold virtual interviews with, with uh, uh, people in all, across the age, all across the world. So a person does not have to appear personally? Uh, currently, no. Okay. Go ahead. Thank you for the question. Um, we also do remote interviews at this point with that I mentioned earlier. And so we have been able to increase our reach across the nation, the middle parts as well. I'm from Ohio, so I think this is very important. Um, we have expanded our diplomats in residence, so we are going to be sending them to more uh, college campuses. We hold recruitment events across the country. Um, and overseas as well, because they're Americans st studying abroad. We use our hometown diplomat uh, program that I have uh, participated in many times over my 30 plus career. Uh, when I've gone home to the Midwest, to Ohio, and to neighboring states, reaching out to colleges and universities and community colleges in states that are not on either coast. We have informal diplomats and in residents. I started one myself when I left the State Department in 2017. I reached out to colleges in Ohio to offer my services to support students who didn't have access to those Washington, D.C. universities to talk to them about the Foreign Service exam, to help them prepare for it, to look at internships in the Washington, D.C. area, if they were going to be studying here, or virtual ones that would help give them a leg up. I've had conversations with other retirees who are doing that in different parts of the country as well. And finally, we've started a... Um, collaboration with the Association of Community Colleges, because as we all know, you don't even need a college degree to join the Department of State. You have to pass our entry, our entry procedures. So you don't have to go to a four-year college on either coast or in the middle of the country. Community colleges have an amazing array of Americans who would bring background, experience, and knowledge that we need, and so we are doing additional outreach in that area as well. It also, community colleges have a wide array of Americans, extremely diverse, whether it's geographic, racial, ethnic, background, et cetera, that we want to reach and tap, and we are taking strides to do so. What, what percent of uh, college campuses do you think that uh, the, the State Department visits recruiting each year? Uh, probably not exact, but can you give me a, a general sense of that? 
would ask you to take the question back to see if our board of health management colleagues have an idea of that. But it's only going to be an idea because people like me go out because we love to recruit for the Department of State. So we're going to be reaching college campuses and the department will not even know of it. Thank you. Our time's up, Ms. Chairman.